the next two videos or so I'm going to be talking about this program which at first you'll probably look at this and go that's just a periodic table but as you can see by the title bar and the copyright at the bottom it's actually an interactive periodic table which means if you uh, select an element say OS and <coughs> click on that uh, it pops up a message box that says what the long name of the element is. It has the abbreviation too, of course, and has the atomic number 76. So, like you click on A, you get aluminum atomic number 13, or H, you get hydrogen atomic number 1. And the reason I initially started writing this program was about six months ago when I started watching this show, Breaking Bad. And I go, that Heisenberg is pretty cool. I'd like to learn about chemistry like him. So I said, I'll, I'll memorize the periodic table. And that turned out to be really hard. So I wrote this as sort of a flashcard program to learn the elements. And I'm still not there yet. Six months later, I've only used it intermittently. so. I can probably do like the first 20 or so, anyhow. And the first phase of writing this program is so short, I'm actually going to guts it out and do it real time like Jack Bauer on 24. So I create a new project, make sure it's a Windows form project, <coughs> and I'm actually going to uh, minimize the Solution Explorer and the Properties pane so I can make this fairly big are fairly wide anyhow. And then what we want to do is drag over a picture box. And do the uh, common task pop up and select dock and parent. And then we need to unexpand these again or uncollapse these. and select the picture box and go down to uh, images and import an image to put in the picture box and specifically an image of uh, the periodic table that I've resized to be a good size in uh, Photoshop undo these guys again and shrink the form to try and be uh, as close as possible a fit to this uh, table as I can that doesn't look too bad now I'll expand these uh, or unpin these again unauto hide them and basically all we need is one control and in fact one event in the one control and that event could actually be one of several possibilities you could have mouse click or you could have mouse down or you could have mouse up all three of those would work about the same but we might as well go with mouse click well before I do that maybe I'll uh, select a picture box and give it a more meaningful name Oh, gotta go back to properties. Call it a uh, PIC periodic table. I want to make sure the picture box is selected too when we select the uh, thing, not the uh, not the uh, form. And go down to the mouse click and double click on it in order to go into the event handler for uh, the mouse click event for the picture box and then there's an argument called mouse event args e and what we want to do is do a local variable of cur x and set that equal to e dot x 
and then do int cur y and set that equal to e dot y. And then create a string that's a message that says uh, something like cursor location. X equals and then concatenate the X value of uh, that we got from the mouse event args and we have to convert it to string of course and then do another uh, concatenation of just a few blank lines and then concatenate that with the uh, oh we need to say y equals and concatenate that with uh, the y position we got from the mouse cursor mouse event args argument And then all that's left to do really is have a message box show. Oops. And print out this string. And then say have a title of uh, cursor location. maybe a message box button of uh, OK and a message box icon of uh, information and that's pretty much the program so if we uh, save this and then compile and run it basically what happens is I want to center this when I have the real program is if you click on the picture it pops up a message box that gives you the X and Y position of the mouse at the time you click and if you click on say the we clicked on the upper left and now if we click on the bottom right that'll give you a second X and Y position Wow, 50, 50, 53, what a coincidence and if this will define this box with those two cursor positions you can define this box the area of this box and what we need to do is do that for every box on this table it's an unbelievable amount of work believe me I already did it and one way you can somewhat save is that when you click here you get an X position of 10 and you'll see every box along this line will be 10 or close enough to 10 you'll probably get some variation for the cursor being off see like I got an 11 there but we could just go with 10 for every box along this level and that way if you do a whole group at once you know you can put in all tens and do sort of production line approach which will save a lot of effort although it still will take hours in order to map out all these boxes using this program so this is the phase one program of creating the program we saw at the beginning the interac interactive periodic table and in the uh, next video I'll show you how to create the table itself using the data you got using this program. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, and I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe.